Okay, I got this John Deere D120 here. Um, the complaint was it quit mowing. I don't know if it quit mowing or wouldn't re-engage to mow. As you can see it has a 42 inch mower deck. And the first thing I thought of was the cable. If you look at the cable right here, it does have a pretty good little kink in it. But then I get looking and this cable pulls on that spring. And then it pulls this tensioner over and that's what makes the belt engage. It gets tight. Let me see if I can show you. The cable seems to be okay. You can see the spring there. It does pull that spring a good ways. But nothing back there moves. So you have a rod here going to this brake on this side. And you got a rod over here going to the brake on that side. So whenever you disengage the deck, those brakes touch the pulleys and stops the blades from turning. For some reason, either they're on a bind and not letting it release, or something here. But the cable doesn't seem to be moving that. <clears throat> so I think the best thing to do is just drop the mower deck. You got the rod up front here. It's got a clip in it right here. And then you have clips right up here on this side. And you'd have to disconnect the clip here. That way you can release the cable. Okay, on this cable here, once you get the clip pulled out, you can just pull that backwards and bring it out of there. And then you just unhook the spring up there. Just remember where the spring hooks to. Now I've got the pin out up here. The mower deck's as low as it'll go. Um, <clears throat> looks like there's one here too. We'll pull that pin. Now the spring on the end of the cable, if you look at how that's made, you can kind of pick it up and then pick it right up out. It's not just a, you know, bent backwards hook. Now on the other side, you have the clip I pulled out in this washer. And then that'll just slide off of there. And you'll have the clip up there also. So four clips on one side and two on the other. The belt, you can just lift up out of there and take it off here. If you look at it, you can just lift it up out of the belt guides. Okay, this would be their back of the tractor, the front of the tractor. And I kind of see the problem. See here, this rod here, whenever this pulls, it pulls this brake back away. There's supposed to be a brake pad on there. But you see how it just runs flat up against it. Now if you look at this one over here, it's too far back. Alright, it should have been up here hitting on the thing flat. And I'm pretty sure there should be lining on both of these. I'll have to look to make sure. But it looks like for right now we're going to concentrate on this and see if we can get it back over where it belongs. Look these up and if there's brake linings we're going to have to do something there. Okay, so I picked the deck up and grabbed a hold of the blade and rolled it backwards. And it kicked it back around there. But see it's on an angle and when it spins it says it'll kick spin around there and lock it up again. Now see I believe there's supposed to be a brake pad on these but if you watch when you pull that see how that goes. Now watch this side. But Now see this side is more square with the pulley. And this side is going back farther. It should stop somewhere back here square with a or something. When it goes back too far and that hits that belt or the pulley with that spin that ripped it around there too far and it wouldn't come back to release. It would work the way it is right now, but it's just going to do it again. I'm going to look up the parts for this and see if there ain't brake pads. If you look right there, you can actually see where it wore into the pulley. Now keep in mind if you take that off, there's a place in the deck here the spring goes in wraps around this and then that and that's what sucks that back okay so I bent that tab out a little bit and see now it fits pretty much square to the pulley but I still think we have a brake lining issue and I think that whole L bracket is replaced all I did was took some pliers on it and bent it just a little bit So 
I'll get back to you when I get some brake pads. Okay, so I looked them up and I got these. Which, that's what's going to be there. And they're the same on both sides. Here's the part number. So I'm going to take a 10 millimeter here. Take a 10 millimeter here and try to loosen this bolt up. There's no nut on the bottom. Let's see how much tension this has got on it. spring hook to that. Somehow this has got to come out of there. There we go. Now, they make you take the nut off to do that. And see that rod is a little bit bent. So this nut's a 10 millimeter. And I can hold this one and loosen it up. You could put vice grips or something here. Like I say, this one's bent just a little bit. So I don't know, maybe we'll try to straighten it up here in a minute. But I don't think being bent is really going to hurt it. So you pull it, just pull it on through there, and push it right through. And then you can just put the nut back on here. I got the nut out there on the end. I'm just using that to hit it as a pry bar. And I ain't worrying about getting it perfectly straight. I just don't see it bend a little bit. Okay, I can't work under there, so I'm taking this off. And we'll see where we're at. Okay, you got your brake pad that goes down first. I think I probably shouldn't have that rod in there. And then this piece here goes down in. And then this piece captures the spring. Alright. And with one person, it's a little harder to do this. There's got to be a trick to it. But what I'm going to do is try to do what I did on the other side. If I have to, I'll take this rod off. Where you get this spring up so it doesn't get caught underneath anything. And you gotta make sure that that is in that center bracket. It still moves free. What we need to do is try to wrap this spring back around. And then when you get this far, I just take a screwdriver and push it out there over top of the head. Not too high. Gonna get fully back there behind that thing. There, put in now. So that one seems to be fine now. Make sure these are both snug. And 
I don't know if you'll see this back here that I took off. We want to put this back on. Again, you got to make sure that's in there. Start everything by hand. so I could get to this one easier and like I said this one here I know I need to tighten up some you want to make sure you get the spring in between them grooves so it's not binding up or up into that bracket I'm not sure on the adjustment yet all I know is that once I get it on there I'll Look and hope I can get them black covers on. I'm sure I can. Let's see where I'm at. I just don't want there to be enough play that when these wear, they snap behind again. It doesn't seem like it really hurt the pulley much yet. to pull maybe this one just a little tighter I'll loosen it up it looks like they both pull off at about the same time so that's what we're gonna go with put your spring back in the slot down here and hook it up around here Like I say, if you're trying to hook the spring back here and put this on and put it down, it just don't fight you. But the one on this other side, I had to take the rod loose, roll the spring around there, and then do it, put the rod back in later. And this one here, I got to bend around. Sometimes I've even had to loop the top loop up over this and get it hooked and take a screwdriver or a little thin one or something and just roll it back down over. So now I think we're going to put this motor deck back on <coughs> and then um, we'll get it all set up and pull the lever and see it engage, make any adjustments we got to make then. So I'll bring you back when I get the motor deck back on. Now also watch where the spring comes around. Don't let it be down underneath of that riding on this new um, piece you put on. Make sure it's up in the groove in between the two pieces. Worst come to worst, you can get a little screwdriver and pop it up in there and a little thin one maybe and run it around. But you'll get it. Okay, right down there is my adjustment and there's the pad. And if you look, it's not touching yet. So I'm going to back this out until it touches good. Okay, I can still turn it, but I can hear it rubbing it, and it's all, I just barely got a little bit of gap behind that, just to make sure, less than the lining, hoping that these ever wear out, the rod will catch it and not let it flip behind it again. Now these tabs right here, are actually belt guards. I like to engage the blades, that way the belt is on there tight, stays tight. Slip this right on top of there and um, bolt it down. <clears throat> so let's try to start this baby up.
try it now that I've done the brake adjustment. <laughs> Everything seems okay. What I'm going to do is I'll check those little bars again on the brake adjustment. As long as I got play on it, I'm telling them to try it and see what we get.